right, what's up, y'all? It's like a fan here. As I can see by the title of today's video, who needs dribble moves when you have triple threat in NBA 2K20 to next gen? So as a lot of you guys know, back in 2K20, I had the six foot nine finisher. I was constantly doing triple threat stuff because my ball handle was too low to actually get myself open for anything, combined with the fact that I didn't even have a shooting build. So all that considered, triple threat was really, really good in terms of getting myself open. Now with this right here, this is a combination between triple threat and a post spin. I'll break down the controls later in the video, but <laughs> as you guys can see, this is super glitchy. I love the look of this. I just love how hilarious all this looks when it comes together full circle, especially combined with your point guard wrapping across you while you do it as well. So anyway, we will get into this a little bit further in today's video. I hope you enjoy. If you do, for to drop a like, sub if you're new to the noties, all that good stuff. And like always, tries one in 1,000 likes. Now we will have a gameplay of me showing like doing this consistently throughout the whole course of the game but as you can see i mean this is pretty ridiculous just coming out here doing it every single time now this time i will break down kind of how i how i read this stuff as well while doing it so on this one right here is really really cool and really special if you ask me where i do it and he plays it really well he defends it really well he backs up at the right time he plays my ball hand to where i'm going and he cuts me off pretty well but with this then i just come out with a double x and then boom just like that i'm on the other side of him an easy spin dunk <laughs> now with uh, the first two ones that i showed it was with me on this side right here and then my guard was on the other side of me so then when he would wrap across it opened up that little gap for me whereas on this one i'm spinning away from my guard so this is the one where it doesn't work as much i will say like people can kind of defend you to an extent but I mean, look at this, bro. It's just ridiculous how quick you get people and how sudden this move is <laughs> and how fast it gets you to the hoop off that sudden move. Boom, just like that. It takes you by surprise. Like I start the move and yes, you can see that I clearly start the move, but after that, it's hard to back up and just be ready for it. And the only way you can really stop it is to cut it off on the side that I'm going to post spin to. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't work to the back shoulder when doing it. You can't spin your stick this direction and it doesn't give you a good speed boost. It's only on the inside post spins or like I said, it's sort of a triple threat move if you ask me. I have post spin activated, like post spin technician, in all of these clips and they never pop up. However, I've never seen triple threat juke pop up either because I don't really stun people on it too often. But as you can see, that time he really did get stunned by it. But I don't know. I don't know whether it's a post spin or a triple threat move or a combination of both. It really is a combination of both if you ask me. All right, so just to take us back to the beginning, I'm gonna go ahead and explain these two times where my guard wrapped across me and was going this direction rather than staying away from me because it's a little bit harder when he's staying away from me. It doesn't get the attention of the defense as much. And when my guard is wrapping across, it, it makes it so they are paying him a lot of attention. And then boom, just like that. I get both these defenders by surprise. I mean, you can see this guy was nowhere near me to be able to cut me off if they're going to switch it. And this one is paying a little bit too much respect to my guard. So boom, simple as that. I'm getting a manual slip as if the ball was in my guard's hands and I was just slipping without it. But in this situation, I'm going super, super fast toward the paint and I'm slipping on my own. I don't need my guard to set me up for a slip or anything like that. Other than the fact that, you know, he's running across me and is going to open that up. So right here again, guard wrapping across big man just by nature it's just a natural thing to just step up like this when you see the guard wrapping across you want to get a little bit wider you can see he takes that first step just like that he takes that wide step to watch the guard just in case and people underestimate how fast this big man moves with this triple threat stuff right here i mean it's crazy bro i only have like 50 something speed with ball on this build right here and on my 7-3 i have 25 and it still moves really well as well now again on these ones right here this is where i'm opposite side of my guard so he factors in zero to doing anything right here and it still catches people off guard you can see he's taking a step toward the top i don't know what about this movement makes people want to do that but you're going to see in almost every clip nearly every clip they take that step toward me to the top and then boom just like that i'm past them before they even know it all right so anyway one last clip you can see once again this is where it has me catching it and holding it a little bit weird where you can see it's got me facing like directly toward the basket whereas the other one had me more parallel maybe with like the three-point line right here but anyway you can see boom backwards then i'm just going <laughs> i don't know what makes people bite on this so hard but it's hilarious to see this come full circle and just be used and then just like i said to adapt to it on the fly like that all right so like i said we have a full gameplay of me using this in the game as well it's not that long it's like three and a half minutes long so don't bug out about that also the people we're playing against aren't exactly the most comp and then on top of that too i just want you guys to know obviously this video looks a little bit gimmicky with me just coming out here talking about triple threat the title is even kind of gimmicky who needs drip moves when you have triple threat all this isn't meant to be taken so seriously it's obviously not like a game breaking move but it is a nice little thing to add into your bag if you're a big man who doesn't have a lot of speed with ball or ball handle or anything like that and you guys are kind of lost on the twos you don't know what to do when your guard is having to inbound to you and you're kind of useless i mean i've seen a lot of people in pro-am and even me on my 7-3 before i ever used this move or anything like that in pro-am i was complete liability when i had the ball in my hands up top to the point where literally they would double team my guard off ball and just be like oh 
are you gonna go ahead and like dra we call it a drag pretty much where like in this situation like this is exactly what you'd be doing right in pro-am if you don't have speed with ball you don't have ball handle you don't really have anything in your bag to be able to get yourself open they will literally send the second defender up here and completely leave me open because I'm way too slow. I can't do anything with the ball in my hands. And by that point, someone's going to rotate to the corner off that and just be there for me anyway. So long story short, with this move, I'm actually able to do stuff like that. On top of that, you can see brick wall going crazy in this gameplay too. All right, so fast forward a little bit. AK bangs like four three-pointers. Now it's 12-0. I'm going to go ahead and do something on my own right here. Boom. Go with the triple threat move. Dunk meter off it as well. Now this one right here, I want to showcase that I probably could have done this easily myself. And this is more of a common sense thing right here where you can see once again this defender steps out to ak this is his original defender this is this defender that's stepping out now with that like i said the way i want to post spin off that is kind of toward this direction so it's super awkward and weird what i should have just done in the moment is just go ahead and just sprint to the basket or maybe do like a manual you know hold your left stick to the right long story short and then boom just like that you can just run to the hoop easy i mean they gave that up so easy and i just kind of panicked in the moment because i was like where do i go if i don't post spin to the on ball hand <laughs> like i had i had no idea like i was just kind of frozen and stunned but anyway he ends up missing this three right here. I grab the board, boom, we kick it back out, yada, yada. You get the deal. You're not here to watch this right here. So once again, boom, inbound. I'm catching it, and he's already seen this like three times in this game so far. So there's no excuse for him like having a really bad reaction to this. But as you can see, once again, he takes a step to me as I do that little setup move. I don't know what it is about that setup move that makes everybody take a step toward the top or take a step toward the three-point line. Maybe they think I can shoot too. I don't even know. But overall, this works literally every single time I do it, and it's ridiculous that it does. And I've even done this against like good people too. Some of those clips that were in the video, also good people. It's ridiculous to me, <laughs> and you can see I'm freaking out like why is this working so well i have no clue so anyway i know this video is a little bit redundant i don't want to drag this on way too long than it needs to be so all i want to do is explain to you guys the controls of how to do it so it's very simple you literally just hold both triggers or if you're on ps5 l2 and r2 at the same time and all you're going to do is you're going to rotate your right stick in this direction and then boom just like that you get it to go just like that and again if you're looking for the triple threat style if it changes it if you have a different triple threat style and you want to just try it yourself and see if it works and if it doesn't all you need to know is it's triple threat normal four that's the jordan like palm ball one too if you flick down on your right stick and it's also still plenty fine with the other animations and stuff like that too so anyway once again i just want to say it's as simple as this you literally hold both triggers spin your right stick in this direction right here and then boom you get that little speed boost right there now I don't have the clip of it because I just it was so bad when I did it to this opposite hand but I recommend not doing it in this direction where you would rotate your right stick in this direction it's definitely something where you have to do it toward the ball hand every single time and maybe this is more if this becomes like a trend for people to do at the big man spot it's easily defended as long as you just take away that inside shoulder so it's not like this is game breaking but I just thought it'd be kind of funny to upload something like this and at the end of the day it's a cool little innovative trick that you can have in your bag as a big man to be able to do stuff like this if they respect your guards rap way too much again as you can see a lot of comp people they do that stuff they respect the guards rap off of it and when he goes in this direction I don't really know what to tell you I don't know why this works right here but people just fall for it like crazy so I don't know what to tell you anyway that's all for video I hope you all enjoyed if you did for to drop a like sub if you're new to the noties all that good stuff and like always strikes one in 1000 likes if you made it to the end of the video put in the comments what you think this is more so tied to if you think it's more tied to post spins put post spin in the comments to show that you made it this far in the video if you think it's more so tied to triple threat put triple threat in the comments to show your support that made it to this point in the video anyway i really do appreciate you guys watching we're going to try and get back on the tier list stuff pretty soon the finishing tier list should be tomorrow and then like i said we're going to try and space out those videos like once every other day so we'll do finishing random video playmaking random video shooting random video then take over and then again back to our regular scheduled program so anyway that's off video hope you all enjoyed none of that take it easy man peace